Hello guys, in this video I want to show you how you can easily convert your transform to the relative location of actor or component with the inverse transform location node. And also guys, thank you for your uh, review, likes, my previous videos, it's very helpful for me and it's motivating me to create more content and also if you have some ideas about the video or maybe something interesting what I should create uh, you can write in the comments and I will check it and if I know this I will do and I will try to do some tutorials or something what you like interested in and for now I want to open my first person character uh, maybe better if I will in the paint show you what I mean what I will do for now is just simple but uh, I get like this, it's a pawn. This can be VR pawn or different. And uh, this pawn have a camera component. This is camera like component. And what I want to add uh, from this relative location, this camera relative location, I want to uh, move forward and put here a sprite. With this transform, I will get this his relative location, and I will put for maybe fifty centimeters uh, after this camera, and it will be work perfectly inside from the world location or transform to the relative of this pawn inside this, not world, but. I will just take the transform and convert to the relative location with some changes with the location. If I will get world location, I will get in the center, like here. But I will move my vector forward mostly. And I will show you how you can do this. Okay, inside, I don't want to change this logic. It's just by default, first person template. I want to add sequence. Just to split this dudes and I want to add the sprite component. Add the sprite component after the seconds. And I will put here you see we should put relative transform and I can drag it and get relative transform. The transform just for checking how it works in the game. Ah, uh, we forget to take any sprite and we should create the sprite. It's just simple, I will take any texture and I'm going to uh, create the sprite component. Maybe sorting better. Unreal logo. And we can create sprite here. Yes, we have now sprite inside. It's great. I'm going to save. Now I can choose the sprite and we can test it again. You can see we should just rotate this sprite. It's no problem to do, but it's now we can we can see it. Okay, for now, uh, I think I just need take location only, not a full rotation. Rotation. I think we can add ninety and to check now. Yeah, you can see it. And now I want to play with the vector to make it more like forward and upper. And we can play with the vectors and I will show you how you can do this. Okay, now we should play some mats, but it's no problem. I will explain all and what we should to do. We, we, we should to have uh, from the world location transformed to the relative, but with the some changes. More forward, like more forward uh, this uh, new sprite. To be like, uh, maybe, maybe like here, you know, 
and we should add it forward. We we should uh, calculate calculate this also, and for this I should get forward vector, and after this vector I should multiply this uh, to the int maybe for I think fifty like, and this means our forward vector will be from here to the 50 for now and uh, we can also mm, add maybe more upper get up vector and for more upper for maybe 20 20 okay and after this i think we should add uh, get uh, world location yes and we should plus this all vectors plus this this now we have the new vector of more forward and more upper and now we will do a transform node from the this world location to the relative location because we you see we should have relative transform or relative location it's all relative now this component inside this uh, first person character and for this I should take get world transform and we we need it because we should call inverse Transform location, this one. This node takes the transform of this component or actor. You can see it's camera now. And I should add the new vector world inside it. And now this is new relative location. And I will boot to the our relative location where we spawn this paper sprite component. Uh, also, we can mm, attach to the camera when we will moving. Uh, we, sh we can uh, atta attach to the component. Yes. And I think we can just check it how it works. Maybe we will change the rules, but I want to check how it works now. More upper should be and more forward now you see not a lot but we move it let's play with the more value now maybe one zero now fifth hundred you see now we we put forward more and if I will move it will be moving also it will be great in the VR when you can create some tutorials uh, and you should change the sprite. The sprite you should uh, like press this button and you can teleport. You can press another button and do something else. And you can add and play with this. Also you can check if you will add more value to the app. It will be works also. You see now the sprite is more upper. If I will mm, remove one zero. It will be more down because this is up and down vector. And uh, how it works now, you can see in the begin play, it's just for simple testing. I want to like, just explain. Uh, and here we have the camera of our actor. And we take different uh, vectors forward, up vector, and also world location. We should have it. And we play with these values. We multiply, but not word location. Only forward, up, or right vector. We should multiply because they are normalized. And after we plus them, at transform for this transform location node. Uh, and after we will have the relative location of uh, this, not actor, but camera with the different changes 
and now we attach this to the our camera and all works the sprite to the camera and all works like expected and if you need uh, take something uh, maybe component or actor I don't know but uh, if you have relative you can if you need to just take world you can just uh, get uh, world and you can world but for transform you can for maybe from local to world you can just get transform and this will and you will have the world location or maybe get um, get transform get world transform it will be work and just split this and take location and you can easily just take it but if you have world location you can convert it from the inverse transform location to the relative with the changes what you want to add more upper maybe more forward or maybe more right you can add also uh, get right vector and also add plus uh, add some changes like more writer okay for maybe 100 and now we want to check you see now if it's more on the right side and if you want to have a left side it will be but with the minus it's a simple but i hope i will help someone and this is tutorial will maybe great for someone and i will show you or left you see enough to the left side because you like use minus here and it works like expected thank you guys for watching and please if you like the video please like and if you like have some ideas to create a new video tutorial about something you can write in the comments and i will check them and thank you guys for watching bye